girls so fun like this the arch I think there are about 20 skylines here so far. In Tokyo, this is all skylines. All right, it's starting to fill up, so let's go for a quick walk here and see some skylines. Skyline with three spoke wheels. It's a little dark, so it might be hard to see, but I'm gonna go take a walk. There's a lot of also the force here. Here's some Itasha style also the force. And this is what's cool about Japanese car culture. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You know, you can Itasha your skyline if you want. And nobody's really talking shit. It's your car, you do what you want. And I think this is also the four owners club meet. I think there's like 20 also the force here. There's another white one here. Got three more skylines down there, another also four here. This is like a Fast and Furious. Too Fast Too Furious style skyline. Gray, looks like you had the blue strips going down the middle there. That blue neon lights. It's like a USDM imported back into JDM scene. There's more skylines pulling up. like out of state plates so you know they came out just for this event these are the drift skyline gang walking no bumper using a license plate as coke holder these guys just don't give a crap look at that that is not whatsoever <laughs> the skyline has a single lighter conversion right in the center
actually a great lining for the for the camera. Man, it looks like all the also the force have moved out of here. Went to the highway runs. Clean S15 over here. There actually a lot of Miatas out tonight too. Just as many Miatas as there are Skylines. That doesn't happen ever in the States. Here is a clean white FD wide body. Check that out, you guys see that? He's got like a face eye shield because in Japan, if you get hit by the cameras, but the camera didn't catch your face, they can't get you a ticket. S15 crew, that's an interesting sticker there. It makes it look like a newer Lexus. Here's the yellow FD that came in earlier that was popping loud as hell. Interesting green hood. Got a robe on here. Clean 180. Nicely done. So it is about midnight here at Daiku PA on a Friday night, Saturday morning. And I uh, went for a ride in the 2JZ. Crazy little car. Um, makes me not want to buy a Supra because I gain so much travel if I had one. There was a Skyline gang here, they just left also to probably go to the mountains. Because to go to the mountains from Tokyo is about an hour, two hours. You gotta go there, come back. So they uh, get up as a group and uh, head out there. There's a cool FD, so I gotta film this real quick. Yeah, great boy, that's wide body FD. And I'm not sure if you guys hear that, but there's drifting going on now. So I'm gonna head on to the other side of Daikoku PA, where it is the streets. Oh wow, look, another cool cars over here that I have to show you. These are beautifully done. I mean, look at the camera on the roof, dude. Got the actual WRC wing. Damn, these must have been so expensive to set up. That looks like a Rocket Bunny 350Z. This is what Japan's about.
taste of what it's like to hang out at Daiko PA on a Friday night after midnight. A um, couple of just guys came out, a lot of noobs in the beginning, but the good guys came out. It's pretty crazy. I mean, obviously, it's illegal street drifting style. They had a cool system going on too, where the bikers would cover for the cars, the drifters, once the cops came out. If you saw the footage, bikers literally blocked out the cops so they couldn't chase after the cars. That's a cool little system they had going on there. And for those of you who don't understand all the revving on the motorcycles, that's basically what the Bosozo does. And they always have since the 80s and 70s. And as long as I can remember, that's just our culture of Japan here. It's like the same way as the stanced fans, the pickup trucks that get toy five and all that. Here's an Evo 7, another one. It's a Voltex diffuser, LED tail lights. I want to see what that looks like. West front body gets you. This GTR is not your basic GTR. It's got slight wide body kit on it. It is 2 a.m. I'm back in the parking lot and there are still cars going in. Of course, there is less cars than there were before. Probably 50% of cars have left. But uh, I'm gonna go walk around and see what other cars are still here and what new cars are. The 350G is an aggressive wide body fit. The cars like this, a K car, that's a hamburger with crazy massive speakers. Look at this Evo 10. I've never seen anything this aggressive in my life. What the hell? This has to be custom. What the hell is this? Look at this fender! Dude, what the hell is this? Jesus. So I just talked to the owner of this Evo 10. He said this body kit is custom made. So this is the only Evo with this kind of aggressive body kit. Anyway.